If you want to stay updated, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to get the videos as soon as they upload. How are you doing as I check our connection? A couple messages for the viewers, so pick a section, have a seat. Yeah, I know this is different. Quit with the questions. Allow me a second, please, to make my first impression. YouTube, what up? Welcome back to another Pounds 978 custom video. And real quick, give a guy a thumb up if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more Spider-Man customs. Here I have an original piece for the second time, but I wanted to make it different. If you haven't recognized the body already, this is the new super articulated Spider-Man from the Retro Pack. One of the best Spider-Man figures Hasbro has released. In fact, maybe the number one, depending on who you ask. For me, I don't know, this goes against the pizza Spider-Man. I think this may win only, only because a lot of reasons actually this may win, but the pizza Spider-Man still looks good to me. So I don't want Hasbro to not use that mold anymore. I just think, you know, different spiders could use different bodies. So I do appreciate this. But anyway, back to the custom. I didn't get to finish the super articulated Spider-Man review. Uh, Billy kind of interrupted, but I never got to finish it because this is what it turned out to be. I decided to customize on that body, but I do have another one. So if you want to see a review, let me know in the comment section down below because I do want to talk about it. Here's a side profile view of the Spider-Man just so you can see what the fire looks like from the feet. To the hands even though the hands are kind of covered up with the accessory pieces but you will see him without it afterwards as far as accessories go he has two additional heads and one hand because the other hand broke right at the peg so it sucks so i might make another pair of hands just to have two set of hands because as a symbiote he needs at least a pair of claw hands or sharp hands or open hands because fists aren't enough even though the fists work well with the fire flame effects i don't know what it is about the color shade or the look of this figure but i like it and i think it's one of my favorite pieces and i know i say that kind of a lot but this is an original piece so I, this has to be one of my favorites right i even wanted to create a whole background story to go with this guy and i have some notes but i don't know if i'm going to do that i do want to create some other hazardous materials i don't know if i told you guys but i said it in the video this was inspired from that this is based off a hazard material which is flammable or combustible so there were names uh that I could have chosen to kind of fit him. But I think Orb Weaver fits too because there's an orange spider called an Orb Weaver. And I think that works out pretty well. But the flame looks really good from the kind of red to the orange to the yellow. And in the back, it has this thermal effect. I think I want to do a thermal one next, but without the flames, just have that fade from green to black to yellow to orange to red. But there is no green or black on the figure. I mean, there is black, but the only colors I use were yellow, orange, and red. And the, the green is kind of like a yellow hue. Swapping out for this head. This is the Carnage head if you don't recognize it. It is just painted differently. Nothing else added to it. I think it looks cool. The difference between this head and the head I had before the first custom was the first one was the Superior Venom. And this one is the Carnage head. So the heads are a little different. So either or, both of them are, are unique in their own way. I think this one looks more proportionate to the body because the superior venom head is very slim and this is one i got just out of the blue i was kind of bored and i was like let me get an extra head kind of looks like peter parker it is a namor head cut the ears down and decided to paint the hair i tried to didn't want to make it look rainbowish because it already kind of looks rainbowish right you just missing blue and purple because it looks green too but it's just yellow red and orange but a lot of people have made fun of the head on facebook they all call him you know, he's part of the Rainbow Society, if you catch my quote, catch my drift. And it's cool or whatever, but that wasn't the intention at all. I just wanted it something to look like it was flaming. His hair was already kind of like spiked up at the back. So I thought it would be perfect to go with this body. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about it. Should I have painted the beard and the mustache and the eyebrows? Super articulated. Let's see what he can do. You guys, if you're not familiar... The head does go all the way up. It has this new design with a like double balled peg that kind of gives it a little more articulation, but it leaves a gap. If you push the head down, you'll be all right. It does look down a lot. So it is pretty fair. It does go left, does go right. But what it does do is get a little attitude with the left and right pivot. So that works out really well if you want to do some cool posing. Then you get my favorite parts, of course, the butterfly joints. You can't have Spider-Man without butterfly joints. The paint is painted all the way through. You shouldn't have any paint rub. So feel free to pose that as many times as you want. You get the shoulder that goes up and down. 
the bicep swivel, the double jointed elbows. With this figure, the double jointed elbows aren't the greatest. Wrist swivel and hinge. Then you get this new frame, this, this double torso. You get a diaphragm, right? That works really well. You can tilt it left to right. It does work really nice. And you can shift it around, spin it around. You don't have a waist swivel, but instead you could twist this. I say be a little careful with that, but you won't get any pain rub. That ab crunch works as well. It's kind of upside down to the conventional uh, Marvel Legends figure, but it does work. So you can crunch all the way up and down and not worry about it scratching at all. And then that's it. You get the thighs. The thighs well, actually, this is new. Um, the drop down thighs. I don't know how effective this is. I think it's a cool idea. And honestly, it was so cool that it didn't. I didn't have to prepare much in order to paint around it. Thighs do split. You get a thigh swivel, double jointed knees that work really well. You get a boot swivel, ankles hinge up and down, and you get an ankle pivot. Cinder, Orb Weaver, Hot Spot Spider Man. I don't know what name I'm gonna call him, so that's why I did those three different segments. But here he is next to another Spider Man. This is the Spider, another custom you haven't seen yet. I've done two of these before this, so you can watch those reviews in the meantime. Spider Man 2020, and if you notice really quick, these are three different versions of the same body pretty much the torsos are all different we get the traditional ab crunch with the, the spider then we get the new diaphragm with the 2020 which was from superior octopus and then on the left side we get the new articulated spider with the diaphragm and the ab crunch so which one of these are your favorite i think they all work well and they all serve their purpose so i couldn't tell you which one is better then we have doppelganger which is on the body that the spider has on the far right which is the bullseye body and i think it looks amazing too shout out to customs by machu for the build i love it still one of my favorite customs as well but these are the four customs that i still have available uh i may not be selling all of them but 2020 and the spider is for sale now if anyone is interested in those two on the far right but these two on the left i'm gonna hold on to for a little bit and you know you know you never know they might go but there's another one i want to show you so stay tuned for this one not just yet though but what do you guys think about this custom let me know in the comment section down below what could we have done to make it better do you like it for an original piece let me know if you think i should get someone to make a, a comic picture of it i'm ready to call my boy nero crane and see if he can make his cool comic picture of it and see what it looks like but i do have a picture of someone who made it from you know i don't know who it was but shout out to you i found it online and look at that it's pretty dope this is based off the old one i have i actually made this before i told you that earlier so let me give you a quick comparison of the two and you let me know which one you think is better the first one was made on the pizza spider-man body and this is made on the new super articulated spider-man body so you guys let me know which one you think is the best and now a word from our sponsors. Spider-Man sponsored by Flaming Hot Cheetos. Lies. All lies I tell you don't believe a word. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And of course, give me a thumb up. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification bell so you can get the videos when I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.